we just finished uh, filming this video, eating some delicious lamb. And I just want to remind you guys, we're working on some really professional videos, some really professional tutorials. But right now, just with our phones, I wanted to keep answering people's questions and um, just keep some, some positive vibes going. So um, you guys are excited about food, and I'm going to show you how I cook tobacco. This is half of a rack of lamb. If you get a rack of lamb at the store, it's probably gonna have double this. It might have like seven or eight bones. Um, I'll show you how to cut it later, but I cut this one in half. Right here, we got the fat cap. This is uh, trimmed and Frenched. Okay, so that means that the bones are cleaned. I let it get to room temperature. Why? Because we want it to have, uh, we want it to heat evenly as it cooks. We're trying to get it to 130 degrees and to be medium rare and we want to make sure that it gets as close to that as we can so we don't just take it out of the fridge and put it into a pan we like to let it get to room temperature you don't have to but it's best um, i'm going to salt this thing uh, just a little bit because we're going to add spices that afterwards so i'm just going to go on with the salt and front and back you don't really have to worry about the sides because we're going to cover those in spices afterwards. This is just the way I do it. This is just the way I cook rack of lamb. There's a lot of ways to do it, but this is the way I do it. Um, I have my pan on medium high heat. I have my oven on 375 degrees. I use both. Um, I'm going to go fat side down. Nothing in the pan. Um, there's a lot of smoke. I have my vent off. No. Now we're just going to turn the heat down a little bit. And it's way too hot. <laughs> uh, so my pan was a little hot because I was talking. But we're just going to play it cool. You can see I'm already browning on the top. So basically all I'm doing is I'm trying to brown it on all sides. So just let that... So if, you, if your pan gets too hot, it's okay. It's not a big deal. You just take it off the flame. Turn down the heat. This is a technique. This isn't a recipe. I'm just going to brown it on all sides. Why? Because no color, no flavor. All right? We want this to be golden brown and delicious. So I'm just doing each side. And then I put it in the oven. 375 degrees. This is going to take a while. It's going to take like 20 minutes. We're going to let it rest afterwards as well. And I just check. You can leave it. I do that a lot when I'm cooking for a lot of people. I just leave it kind of like that and then I'll walk away. Um, but this is basically how you want to do it. You do one side at a time. Okay. I don't really need to um, focus on this side too much. I'm just gonna kind of do that. Why? Because we're gonna put it in the oven for about 15 minutes. So why are we doing this? Because when it's in the oven, it's, it's not really like as hot. See, the oven's like 375 degrees. We can turn it up to 500, but what's gonna happen? The bones will burn, and it's not gonna cook, it's not gonna cook the way you want. This pan gets really hot. This pan probably gets about 650, 700 degrees. And with the oil, it's kind of frying it. So that's what's giving it that nice golden brown color. So okay, we're just gonna put it in the oven. I'll turn the light on for you guys. And we're just gonna let that ride for like 15 minutes. This is rare. This is medium. This is well done. And this is just something that you have to practice, just like any other skill. This is a technique. Again, this is not a recipe. It's not something that I can write down on a piece of paper. That will can you do that again and poke your forehead with these? <laughs> <laughs> just to get a feel for it, you know? You gotta like... Yeah, I do use, I do use these. I use these, and I sometimes use my hand, but I can just push like that and tell you what temperature it is. 
if you want to make your own splice, that's fine. Um, I can give you some tips on that while we wait for this lamp to cook. Um, when I make my spice for lamb, I make a mesquite spice. What do I mean by that? I use roasted mesquite pods, which I grind up, or I sometimes buy a roasted mesquite flour from our local grocery store, Mount Hope. Uh, I understand not everybody has access to something like that, but what you can consider is mixing, starting with uh, equal parts. What I mean by that is uh, one ounce of sugar, one ounce of salt, one ounce of black pepper, one ounce of thyme, one ounce of paprika, one ounce of garlic. Mix them together, and then you kind of have something that you can work with. You kind of taste and you kind of determine what you want more of, what you want less of, and you need to write it down. I could give you a spice mixture. I have one in my cookbook, which will be available very soon. But it's really better if you learn to make your own and play with your own if you're going to do something like that. I think uh, experimenting with spices that you can buy at the grocery store is a great way to get started. Okay, so it's been like 20 minutes at 375. We checked it at 15 minutes. It still needed some more time. Now we're going to check it again. Right. Now, one more time. Rare, medium, well done. That is nice and springy. That's medium rare. Ooh baby, look at that. Ooh baby. Now, I pulled it out a little bit. It's still a little bit rare. Why? Because I'm gonna let it rest in this pan. You always let me rest after you pull it out of the oven so that all the juices can kind of absorb back into the meat. The proteins need time to relax. So we're gonna let this rest for like five minutes. But before we do that, we're going to add some of our spices. Today I'm gonna to go with Tones. I really like this one. I get it at Sam's Club. And you guys know I want a sponsorship. So at Tones, I don't even know if they have an Instagram, but I'm gonna find it. And now we're gonna really cover all sides of this lamb. Um, I, I don't worry about it anymore. I just go for it because it's gonna just fall into this pan. Um, I'm not really using this pan to make a sauce today. So I just cover it on all sides. And that kind of just absorbs in there. And we didn't put that much salt on it. So, it's not gonna be too salty. It's gonna be just right. Okay, so we took our lamb out of the fridge, brought it to room temperature. We seared our lamb on all sides. We put it in the oven, 375 degrees, for about 20 minutes. We let our lamb rest for about five minutes. Let's see where we're at. We're gonna talk a little bit about cutting a lamb because this was kind of hard when I first learned uh, how to cook lamb. Well, uh, cutting the lamb was pretty difficult. I'm gonna show you right now. So when you go through, you're just gonna go like this, and if you get stuck, you just kinda wiggle your knife a little bit. And you can see, perfectly medium rare lamb. See all those juices wiggling around in there? See, I'm stuck a little bit on a bone. Just wiggle right through. And there we have perfectly medium rare lamb. 